Hi guys, um, I'm here to talk to you about the next step in your skateboard design. So, um, at this point, um, you have looked, you've, you've created your three rough draft designs. You've thought about the format of the skateboard. You've thought about your color palette. You know, you thought about what kind of materials you want to use. You know, um, you've sampled them out to a certain degree. Um, and kind of figured out how they might work best for you. Um, you've really thought about, you know, like I said, the format, like how it's long and skinny, or it's short, I'm sorry, how it's skinny and tall, or it is short and long, if you do a horizontal picture. Um, you've thought about kind of how to distribute um, different forms along the composition to move your eye throughout it. Um, even thought about how to create movement um, with design lines like here, like the T creates movement, or even like, you know, with this design where I'm going to have the red that is repeated throughout, how color might move your eye through a composition. So, um, at this point, you've got to make a decision, um, and hopefully you've gotten some feedback, um, on these designs, um, but at this point, you've got to make a decision on which of these three designs you want to work on for a final draft um, because today we are going to be making our final draft um, paper uh, papers uh, our full size skateboard for a final draft and you guys are going to get started making those today so um, so um, I think you know after careful consideration um, the piece that you know, I, I think that I really want to do is the cottage core design. Um, I would really, really like to see something that is, you know, soft and pastel like this, um, but also in that sort of cottage core style. I think I've never seen anything like it. Um, and I just, I want to make that unique idea a reality. So, um, I'm going to give it a try and do the cottage core design. Um, so the next step is to take this design and sort of, um, you know, uh, go over with a fine tooth comb and see if, you know, I want to, you know, use everything that's here, if there's anything I need to change up. Um, and then also, um, I'm going to have to create my final draft paper, um, and I'm going to show you how to do that here. So, um, you guys are going to print off um, three pieces of paper. Like this is some one file, but it'll come out as three pieces of paper. So um, this is one side of a skateboard. And then the other. And then this is going to be the middle of the skateboard. Um, so we're going to have to actually do some cutting and assembling of these designs um, to put together our skateboard. Um, so I recommend kind of not, you can see that there's border on this, but I recommend not cutting off the border that's here um, because you're going to need to kind of join it to the next piece over. Um, so I'm gonna get, instead of cutting it off, I'm gonna get my pen here, and I'm just going to follow this line out to the edge on my paper. And I'm going to do the same over here. I'm just going to follow it out to the edge. Okay. And then I'm going to do the same on this one. Follow my design out to the edge. Okay, I'm going to do it on this one too. Okay. Um, this one I'm just going to make sure it hits the, the gray edge of the, the paper here. Okay. All right. 
right, I'm going to have to use the clip for this. Uh, give me just one minute. Okay, sorry. I had to um, switch this up a little bit um, because I needed both my hands to be able to um, cut this and show you how to put it together. Um, so I had to switch over to my, my clip. I've got a clip um, that I attach my phone to so that I can... Um, have hands free here. Um, so I've got my scissors ready. Um, so you're gonna just wanna carefully cut this. Again, like watch where the tip of your scissors are going when you're cutting. I'm gonna be careful as you go. Take your time with this. You do not want um, a jagged design. So, you know, if you're working from home, I would recommend, again, that you print one of these off and use it. One file is gonna take three pieces of paper when you print it. That's my number one recommendation how to do this. Go. Um, if you have no access to a printer at home and you need to um, create something to make your skateboard on, um, you can get just a piece of poster board um, that is um, the appropriate size and do it. Um, and the size is listed on canvas, so just double check that you've got the right size if you're cutting your own. Um, but, you know, if there's any way you can, I would highly recommend that you print it off. And, of course, in the classroom, I will have these printed for you so that you can um, make them in class. Okay. So there's the two end pieces. And you can see I kept the white part here. Um... And now I have to got to cut the middle piece. That's the last thing. And I'm gonna cut off the white pieces here on this one, and I'm gonna cut along the black line. Again, follow where the tip of your scissors is going as you cut. If you can do that, you'll get a nice even cut. Cutting a little border off of it. Okay, and then last side. So I've got to attach these together so that they make a skateboard. So you see I've got this um, little bit of a border left on this. So I'm gonna tuck this underneath here. Attach it behind the middle piece. And I'm gonna do the same on this side and attach it. Now if you've got a glue stick, um, that would be just fine. I wouldn't use anything like Elmer's glue because that's going to potentially ripple your paper. A glue stick will be just fine. Um, it'll do the job. Uh, today, as it happens, um, I do not have a glue stick in the room with me, so I am going to use just a piece of tape um, to 
to hold this together. My tape is not cooperating with me. I'm sure you guys know exactly what I mean. When you want to tear a nice piece of tape off, sometimes it just tears in little tiny pieces. So um, that's kind of what's happening to me. Okay. So I'm going to flip it over real quick. And I will put a little piece of tape back here. I definitely don't want any tape to show, so I'm going to be careful about that. Take off any excess. Flip it back over so I can see the edge. And then I'm going to line this up. So that's got me from my bottom part of my skateboard into the middle part. You can see if I'm just taping it, I'm left with this flap. Um, even if you do tape it like I do, you're, you're going to really want to go over this with some glue um, or else you're going to have this flap that wants to flap back up. So um, a little bit of glue. Um, you should have a glue stick in your kits at home. Uh, you'll definitely have access to glue in the classroom. but. Just a little bit of glue in there, not Elmer's, because Elmer's, Elmer's will ripple up, okay? Now I've got to attach uh, my other piece to this side. So there it is. I'm going to set this aside for a second. Flip that guy over. Get ready for my tape. Gonna carefully make sure none sticks out in the front because I don't want to see the tape from the front side. Just like I don't want to see any glue from the front side. I'll take my time with this so it looks nice and neat. Okay. Um, so here's the end of the skateboard. And so last step to making my skateboard is to well, the last step of making my big skateboard template. I've still gotta do the whole design, right? can't be like, oh, I taped it together. Now I'm done. That won't work. Okay, so you can see I've got my skateboard. Again, the tape over here um, does no pay job, but I want to put a little glue here um, to really make sure this stays glued down. Um, use just some, either rubber cement would be fine because it's not going to ripple your paper. Um, or you could use um, your glue stick. Don't use Elmer's, just be careful with that. So now you've got your skateboard ready to go. Um, you can go ahead and start doing your design in pencil and then finalizing it and adding your color in. Um, so if you're a teacher, you might even consider taking this little guy that you made um, out of this particular material and using it as a stencil um, to create some um, poster board versions of um, the skateboard design. Um, that's typically what I do for the students who are in my classroom. I give them a poster board version of it to work on rather than this paper version. Uh, depending on the material that you want to work in, um, this kind of paper can be really challenging, uh, especially if you know you want to do anything that's wet media. Works great for dry media, um, any kind of watercolor or acrylic paint. You might have some rippling here due to um, the moisture. So if you plan on having students work with some more wet materials, uh, it would be a good idea to go ahead and have them cut theirs out of um, like poster board or something a little heavier. All right. Um, so now again that I've got this, the next stage is to go ahead and sketch out my design 
and uh, add my color to it and uh, just finish up my my final draft for the skateboard deck competition. All right, I can't wait to see what you guys come up with.